guys, this is Leo from Stitch and Whimsy. Thanks for joining me. And in this video, I'm going to go through all of my pre-planning stage for my sewing studio that I had in the house. Um, I did, I took lots of time to plan. I took lots of time to um, write everything out and um, look at everything and then order all the stuff that I needed. And so I'm gonna go through that whole process with you and show you um, how I began to set up my sewing studio. I will tell you that um, this video, the footage from this video was taken a while back. And since then I have made some changes and moved some, moved some things around and, um, and made some adjustments. But it's, I do think that it's a um, pretty cool looking video from a before and after kind of a um, aspect and, um, when I get everything cleared up, cleaned up, I'm almost done with the final touches on the studio, then I'll make another video and I will show you how everything got laid out and um, you'll be able to see the finished product and see how everything went. And as you can see behind me, I have a wall of fabric. So that's just a little part of it, a little sneak peek, but I hope you enjoy this video and um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up and also hit that notification button, that little bell down there so that um, whenever I make my new videos and I will have tutorials, I will have all kinds of sewing stuff and creative stuff and shirt making stuff and embroidery stuff and um, just all kinds of craftiness, um, then you'll be able to get notified whenever we get a new video. So uh, go ahead and do all that and I hope you enjoy the video and uh, go ahead and comment below and let me know what you think about everything and, um, and we'll see you next time. Uh, hope you enjoy. This is the beginning of the planning for the sewing room. So many people do the before and after and I just want to show you the process because this is so much planning. I want to make sure I do it right inside these French doors here is going to be my sewing room. So I've got these little doors. As you can see, I have a Christmas tree here that's going to leave. Um, it's a mess. As you can see, it's got plenty of space, plenty of windows for natural lighting, but I have to get the furniture in here and I want to make sure that I have the furniture the way that I want it. So as you can see, I have a giant wooden table. So when I show you, talk about the wooden table, that's this. Um, and then I have these, um, these are actually, they look like Ikea, but they're actually Better Homes and Gardens um, cubes. So uh, I will probably have a link down below to show you where you can get those. Um, and Walmart will deliver them for free. So it's a lot better than going to Ikea and pick it up yourself or um, paying outrageous for shipping. So as you can see, there's two of these here. And I've, lay, I've named them by their, not their dimensions, but their, um, like the number of cube holes that they have in there. And so as you can see, there's two across and four high. So I call this a two by four. So there's another one over here that's a two by four. I have lots of wall space, but I also have to account for this door here and I have to account for these windows here. And I have to try to figure out what to do with this big ass table. I think I want to use it in here and just put all my machines around them and have like a stations, but it kind of takes up the entire middle of the room. And so I have to figure out where am I going to cut? Where am I going to measure? Where am I going to sew? Where am I going to press my heat press? Where am I going to iron? Um, so all those things come into play there. So this is what I have to work with. It's gorgeous and beautiful. It's just, I haven't had any like I need to plan out how to put everything. So I'll show you my next step in the process on. Okay, so here's the first step in the planning um, of this. So I took my, I don't even have like a builder's tape measure. So I used a sewing tape measure and I measured, um, this is not to scale, okay? But I measured, um, as you can see, this is the room that we were just in. So here's the French doors. Here's the little side windows and the double window and the windows out here. So it kind of juts out this way. This is just a plain wall and this is a plain wall. So you can see that the Christmas tree was here. The big wooden table was right in the middle and those little shelves were right here. But this wasn't to scale. I just measured all the inches 
uh, around so that I could just get an idea. Then I went to the graph paper. I printed the graph paper up in blue. And so what I did was I took like the big wooden table and I, I created it to approximate scale. And that way I can just, you know, move it around. Instead of moving real furniture, I can, right now it's sitting about like this. I can move it around to, you know, to see if I've got enough clearance and space um, for all of these pieces. So as you can see, some of these are upside down, but like I've got my four by threes. Remember that means that's not dimensions. That's the holes, you know, the little blocks. So this is four by three um, up and down. So these are approximately to scale too. So I can take these guys and move them around and figure out where I want them all to go. And then once I get it placed the right way, then that I can take a picture of it and know where I want my furniture to be. So on to the next step, I'm gonna mess with these. I'm going to fill them in here and see where I want them to go. And I will come back and see what you guys think about um, how I have it laid out and, and we'll go from there. Okay, so I gave you the tour of the sewing room out here that I'm gonna be working on, but also, across the hall I had this um, I had this done last month this this door I mean this wall was just a plain wall but this is now a door that has been installed because I'll take you out here this was the front of my garage I had a three-car garage but the garage doors are over there so this was um, some extra space let's see so this see this goes out to my garage which is all messy right now because it's got a lot of my sewing stuff that's un like it's not organized or whatever so what they did was they came and they walled all this in put a doorway here and then this was the third car of the garage and now it's going to be storage for my the rest of my sewing so all of my excess fabric and stuff is going to be in here so i did another grid like i did on the other one worked out where the walls and the doors are and the windows and figured out what storage i need for this and that big wooden table that i couldn't figure out what to do with is going to go in here somewhere i think it's going to go about right where the stroller is and then i'm just going to have those same cubes like lining the walls with all of my fabric and stuff. So that's the plan. Um, and I will be able to show you as we go how that's gonna work. Okay, so this is my major dilemma. You'll have to excuse the dust uh, under the table, but this table, is 44 inches wide. And this doorway is 29 inches wide. It is also 31 inches high. So I can't turn it on its side and slide it in through the doorway. So my first thought was, and you have to bear with me while I crawl under this, I have to crawl under this table because <laughs> kind of shit that I have to deal with because this is like a man thing, right? I'm having to figure it out. So first I decided I would try to take the legs off. I have no idea how to do that, but I, I could take, I try to take these bolts off, but then there's some screws or something in here. I guess holding that, I don't even know what they're doing to be honest. Okay, and then I thought that I could take <clears throat> these screws out, okay? These lines that go all the way up <laughs> and across. If I could take those screws out, <clears throat> then I could take this top off. And then um, I already measured it from the floor to the top of here is like 28.5 inches so I'd have like a half inch clearance and I could turn the table sideways without the top and I could get it in. All right so I got the table figured out. As you can see once I got those taken off they just the table slid right out and then that's the tabletop that's laying there. It took two people 
just to get it off so I wouldn't break my toes. So I had my son-in-law help me to um, slide it off and put it up against the wall because it's very heavy. But tomorrow I will get that piece taken off and then we will turn this on its side and then it will be able to fit through that doorway over there. So those two are going out. They're going across the hall into the storage and then I've got the other, my other plan for the, um, for the rest of this place. So I'm pretty proud. I did not have to take off the legs. I did not have to take off the middle. I did not have to really take the table apart much at all. Just those three little pieces on each side and slide it apart. So I'm pretty proud that I got that figured out. It only took me <laughs> like an hour of looking at the bottom of the table to figure out what I needed to do to get it to come apart. But um, so we're getting it done and we're just gonna keep keep on working. Okay. This is the front door. <clears throat> Sorry, the lighting is bad. It's nighttime, but uh, I'm letting all the bugs in. This arrived today. <laughs> one, two, that's a table. These are the cube organizers. One, two, three, four of them. And just in case it decides to rain, I don't think it's going to, but I'm gonna have to bring those in, but one, two, three, four, plus a table. That arrived today and that's not all of them. Um, I'm just gonna do this for now because it is 10:30 at night. So that's what I think about that. So far, I've got the table still doesn't have a tabletop on it yet because um, I need some I need more room to work around. But I have one, two, three, four of those cubes, cube organizers. Uh, I put together that one and that one. And this one. <laughs> um, the pink one was already put together. The pink ones were already put together, but the, um, these I put together today. So this was the empty room, and now it's got all kinds of cube storage. And I've got my little wire things that are going to go up here, and they're going to hold bolts of fabric. So, and I, the, this is the three by four because it's three across and four down. So that's what I call the three by four. I've got two more of those that are going to go here and here. And then I've got some really big metal um, shelves that have casters on the bottom that are going to sit here and have more stuff on them. And that should fill up this room, but that's not gonna happen today or tomorrow. It's going to probably happen it's probably gonna be about a week. And we're just gonna keep keep on working.